Soldiers left behind a lot of sensitive equipment in Afghanistan. Now, why did no one have to pay for this? Quick disclaimer, I'm not condoning anything. I just want to show you guys the differences between combat deployed soldiers and training soldiers and destroyed equipment. Okay, so real quick, generally speaking, if a soldier loses equipment or it gets destroyed without a good reason, you typically will have to pay for it either with money or with a lot of push-ups. Now the question is, why during the Afghanistan evacuation we were able to leave behind all that equipment and there really was no accountability for any of the equipment? What you have to understand, for soldiers who go into combat deployments, there's a lot more leeway for you destroying or breaking your equipment. Whereas if you're training, you better have a really good excuse as to why Carl crashed the Humvee into the tree. But the hypocrisy is, if you lose your night vision goggles during training, like everything shuts down to find these, but apparently not during the evacuation of Afghanistan. 